seriously. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as, as he received first kick in his stomach. Hazel, Hazel remained hidden in the fear she, she too would be punished. He can't even speak anymore. We're gonna have to run now. I... No, please, no. No, 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 what, what's going on? Is it inside the castle? Seriously. speaking. Come out, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. I'm assuming this is the nightmare. Well, I know it's the nightmare. We'll have to find a way through, I assume. Probably upstairs. Probably by... Well... Probably by being chased by some kind of monster. That's how this game works, right? Every time you make any decent progress, it comes and tries to rape you. Stop hissing. So, down here then? I think I remember this, and this is actually where the monster, where the monster shows up. Oh God, I need light. Seriously. Come on, Daniel. Have some light. There's more light here. It's just a castle breathing. Yeah, this is... Oh, no. No, no. Oh, dear. Just a ghost still screaming at you? Uh, God, I know it's coming. No, no, no. Oh, my God. I don't want to go now. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiment has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. Okay. So, right, so. Gonna need four chemi chemicals in the wine cellar. God, I seriously hope the monster isn't coming. There should be more cook Let me see. And one part aquifers. I really don't want to be here. Why? <sighs> this is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compound lacked the potency I need but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are a given and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. 
The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I'll find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Okay, I'm seriously shitting myself. Once I'm gonna need to put a pot here. Uh, if I can find a way to open my inventory. No, that's... No. T R E. Please say that was just ambience. I am literally shitting myself. No, G. Press J again. W. No. No. Input. Key config. That's the one. Invent. Oh. Oh. God. Interact. Rotate. Lantern. I do have it. Yeah. Tab. You're right. Tab. Tab. There we go. That's the bot. Now I need to find other stuff. I really don't like this game. Well, I do, for I know what it is and what it's supposed to be, but I'm scared. I'm scared shitless, and nothing's happened. Oh my god. Uh, the wine cellar. What the fuck? Seriously, what the fuck? Rip the vines. Oh no, so I'm gonna need to find the key. I no, not diaries, mementos. Uh -huh. The laboratory to the wine cellar. What can I go? Find the key for the wine cellar. Probably upstairs. Right? I hope so. And I'm gonna find the key, and then I'm gonna end up shitting myself. I'm gonna have to run for the door. And hope I don't get caught. Which I obviously will. Oh god, the archives. I seem to remember some shit happening in the archives. Yeah, some shit did happen here, didn't it? I'm sure it did. Yeah, yeah, it did, and it's like the first time you see the monster. You need to hide. Like the little pussy you are. Especially if you're me. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hana, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. 
Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum.